United Democratic Movement leader General Bantu Olomisa is back at the PIC Commission of Inquiry to be cross-examined. In his testimony, Olomisa questioned conflict of interest in relation to former PIC directors and employees that seemed to resign at the PIC to establish businesses that would be funded by the PIC. Olomisa is being questioned by representative of Harith and Libashe. Those companies are linked to former Deputy Finance Minister and Chair of the PIC, Jabo Mulageti, former PIC Executive, Tsepo Masloele, and Warren Wheatley. Olimisa has told the Commission that he took interest in the PIC following anonymous tip-offs and reports of dodgy transactions there. He says there could be a cartel of black economic empowerment beneficiaries that seem to have easy access to PIC resources. Daniel Berger, representing Harith and Libashe, accused Holomisa of using this to boost his political profile. In response, Holomisa says he has an interest in the management of public funds. The UDM leader has also asked the commission to look thoroughly into the unlisted transactions at the PIC. Moleketi, Mashoele and Wheatley will give testimony before the commission next week, Monday. Since 2016, I've been following up all these nauseating exposés in the media and also did a little bit of research and even after we went to court more people came to me and say these are the trends and obviously the questions I've asked then will not be that different from the other questions I've framed, but it has got the same meaning. Conflict of interest. How did it come that the former PIC workers went outside PIC and established this uh, network of companies using PIC funds? And I'm interested 